So my name is Jeremy Bowers. I work with Coal Bank Preferred, and I have Colin Conway here with you today. Um, Colin's a hustler that I met, and Colin worked in the suburbs before for a real estate company. And uh, Colin had the same talent level, but he wasn't doing as much business as he's doing in the city. So check this out. Colin, how much business were you doing in the suburbs? I did a little under a million last year in yeah. the suburbs. A million in sales, right? Yes. How much do you think you'll do this year? Seven to nine million in sales. Only a 700 to 900% growth. <laughs> Not bad, right? So, Colin, what changed? Um, I had a schedule, a system. I came to the city. I focused on a certain niche market, which is investments with lots of rehabs and new construction. And then I followed the system and I put it in place. And what's your background? Tell them a little bit about how you know a little bit about building. Uh, my father's a developer. He's a small-time builder. He built about four to five homes a year. I grew up working in the summer on the job site, so I learned firsthand how to build a home and what goes into the building process. So I learned numbers, what to buy the properties at, how much it takes to build, and then what you can sell them for. And then your brother's a builder. And my brother's also a carpenter right? as well, and I worked with him firsthand as well. So let's talk about investments, because you know investments. What do you think, what's the first step a person should do if they're a real estate agent to try to work with investors? What, what, what tips would you give them? Be around the right people? Would it be read books? Like, how, how does a person get into this investment world of real estate? I think the best thing you can do is go to the job sites firsthand and talk to the builders. They know the most. I mean, you can learn a lot from a book, yes, but you can learn more from just having conversations with other people in the business as well as the contractors themselves. So, door knocking. Door knocking, for sure. Um, you do a little bit of that? Yes. Would you, Do you do it by yourself or do you do it with someone else? A uh, business partner. Okay. And why do you do it with someone else instead of yourself? To hold me accountable okay. and then also it's more comfortable that way right. as well. It's more fun. It's exactly. It's weird going up. Mm -hmm. By yourself. It's like sitting at the bar by yourself and not having drinks, no right? No one wants to do that. No one wants to do that. <laughs> so, when they're door knocking, and you guys are doing it. Is it fun or is it like, tell me about it. Like, what, what do you do? It's, I enjoy it actually a lot. Um, you go out a couple hours a day. We, I pick certain areas and what blocks I want to hit. So I, it's like a preemptive attack. I run all the public records, the dimensions a lot. So I know what I'm talking about as soon as I come to their home and it turns a lot of business. Um, and I do enjoy it. How much opportunities do you have right now? You think off door knocking over the last year since you've been here ballpark? How much business? How much business? It's almost forty percent of my business from the door knocking. And how much opportunity do you have upcoming? You think from door knocking? How many millions? Uh, probably seven million for the next year in door knocking and new construction coming up. Wow! So this is a guy who did a million dollars last year that over the next two years easily has fourteen million dollars plus of opportunity from a changing a location, mm -hmm. B, changing some habits, yes. C, surrounding yourself who people that do similar things to you, mm -hmm. and lastly is holding yourself accountable? Yes. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. In that period of time, did you buy any real estate? Yes. Okay. And how did that go? It went well. I learned a lot. Um, I thought it would be easier than it was, but I learned a lot. It's it was fun, it was a learning experience, and uh, it, I managed to uh, flip a house. So moving forward this year, what do you think is the next step? What, what, what are you going to work on, do you think, to get to the next level in your business? Systems, and just, I have accountability partners just staying on top of my tasks. Um, if I can just keep focused, sometimes I veer off my path, but I can stay focused every day and commit 100%, I think my business will grow substantially so you can look at it two ways would you agree that if me sending you a random text and asking you if you're on track or what you're doing and holding you accountable and I believe there's a couple hundred dollar bills in my office from you not hitting your goals and you're okay with that. that's why I love it. you're so coachable how has that accountability helped you it's helped me <laughs> substantially I mean like, yeah, the first couple times we bet $100 that I would hit my quota on door knocking. I had to knock a certain amount of doors or hit a certain amount of contacts. And then the first few times I did lose 100 or 200 maybe $300. But um, I think it's just putting something on the line. It's, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be losing something. So I mean, it's, 
It's the same reason why you and yeah. I don't go steal a Lamborghini outside. <laughs> Sitting outside. Right? I want, I, honestly, I want to drive it. But if I steal it, I'll go to jail. Exactly. It's pain versus it's, it's pain versus pleasure, right? And mm -hmm. a lot of Tony Robbins talks about that. So if you don't have a beginning and end date, you mm -hmm. don't have a goal. It's just a wish. Sure. And then the second thing, what you've done differently, which I love, is you've put pain at the end. You have that end date, and if mm -hmm. you don't hit it, it bugs you. I'll be honest. So today I sent a text to like a couple of players across the country, mm -hmm. the big thinkers, and I said, listen, I want to bet. I'm waiting for them to respond. I want to bet money, like big money. I don't bet. I don't gamble. I don't go to casinos. I'll go. I'll hang out, but I'm not going to mm -hmm. gamble. I said, I want to bet that if we don't hit these goals, i got to pay you a fine. And the one answer the one guy's going to say is, why? Because if you don't have an end date, it doesn't mean anything. If you don't know when you're going to die, then you do whatever you can do every day. If you knew when you could die, check us out, you're really sick, people get more done in a day because they have an end date. Exactly. Why we're talking here today is we have an end date. If you don't have an end date and you don't have a game plan and you don't understand investment real estate, you don't invest in construction, you don't understand, you don't have a real estate portfolio, and you need help with that, I think Colin and myself will probably be pretty good people to talk to. This year I'll probably do 10 deals just doing that after managing office, getting Tandra up and running and getting all these agents up and running and building a better life for you. My number is 215-370-9107. Hit me up. Take me on YouTube. Jeremy Bowers. Colin, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, email is cconway at cbpref.com and my cell phone is 215-313-8352. Thanks.